Hi, today we're doing a video on the brand new 2020 Eagle Cap 1160 season insulated units as you can see here with the Eagle Cap 4 season EC Max insulation tag. Eagle Cap 1165 for 2020 is all brand new exterior two tone gray exterior with brand new graphics for 2020. This next generation Eagle Cap is the best ever built from a new stylish exterior standpoint and an all new interior we'll take a look at shortly. Eagle Cap 1165 is best fit on a dually truck, one or larger, as you can see here on our factory F450 dually. We use this truck also for transport with a camper on the truck and a trailer hauling two campers behind it. So the 450 gives us more towing capacity. But an F350 actually has more payload capacity. As we go down the passenger side of the unit, you can see as we come up to the outside shower box here. That's where your outside shower is at. As you can see here, you open that compartment door and you have your hot and cold controls and your shower head comes out and hooks up for an outside shower. Next to that is your black tank flush. It's standard on all Eagle Cap products. This is your connection. You hook your fresh water hose up to here after you've dumped your black tanks and you simply turn on your fresh water, leave your black tanks open and this flushes out your black tank. Next compartment behind that is your potable water fill. This is a lockable compartment. This is where you fill your tanks from portable water. It's a close up of the new graphics as we go down the passenger side of the unit. It's crisp, clean, new look, and our new Eagle Calf logo representing our new next generation Eagle Calf. As we come back to the rear of the unit, this is a triple slide truck camper. So you're seeing here the galley slide. The two vent covers there are for your 8 cubic foot refrigerator venting and service access. And you can see the side entry here, 1165. You also see the 11 foot patio awning, we'll show you a little bit later. All electric patio awning with LED light. Right below the awning is your exterior speakers as part of your standard stereo package and your LED entry porch light. You'll notice on the entry to the door is the keyless lock system. It's standard on all Eagle Caps. As we come around to the rear of the Eagle Cap 1165, again you can see the signature frameless windows. It's been on Eagle Cap for several years now. The slam latches latches single hand operation this first compartment here is your propane compartment this has 1165 carries two 30 pound propane tanks in the center of the unit is your cargo exterior storage bay again double slam latch locks easy to open and new for 2020 this cargo bay is uh, got dual access you've got a sliding metal tray that slides out for full access for storage and then you've also got the side storage over here for bulkier items that you don't need to access from the storage tray. In the cargo bay storage compartment is also your 12 volt battery house disconnect for your 12 volt system and your gray and black dump valves. This is a fully insulated four season unit with ducted heat throughout the basement area. On the back wall of the storage area, you can see the three slide-out control brains modules. As you look into the basement area here, you can see that large six-inch hole at the rear and the line coming through that. That's your winterization valve. You simply uncap that, put that into your antifreeze, turn the valve, and you can winterize your system. As you can see coming back, there's the ductwork for your 30,000 BTU furnace, ducted heat through here, and access 
heat back to the furnace from this area. There's also a 12 volt LED light for lighting inside of the unit. Nice thing about that storage tray is it's ball bearing metal guides and real easy to roll in. Latches itself in place for travel. To the driver's side of the rear is your battery compartment. This will hold up to 231 group batteries. All of your wiring and cabling there is from your generator and your battery connections. On the back wall of the 1165, the slides are all in the end position, closed. You can see the ladder up to the roof here. This has folding legs because obviously when the slide is going in or out, that can't be connected down below. To access the roof, you simply undo that latch, bring your legs down into the rubber snubbers at the bottom here, and that hold locks everything in place. Now you can use a ladder to access your As we come down the driver's side of the 1165, you notice again the beauty of the frameless windows. These are insulated thermal pane windows. Again, part of that four season standard package. As we come up close to the driver's side rear, you can see the generator compartment there. Most of these units are ordered pretty well loaded up. This is the Onan 2500 generator. To the bottom here in the rear is your sewer hose carrier. To the right, your sewer hose dump connection and the exhaust for your generator. Just above that section is your clearance LED clearance light, your 30 amp power cord connection where you hook your detachable power cord, your city water connection, and your outside cable connection for park or satellite connection. As we move forward on the driver's side of the 1165 there is two outside additional storage compartments here. Again notice the ease of the slam latches and the magnetic catches at the top holds the door up and out of the way. This gives you additional large outside storage area in both of these compartments. Good place to store your power cord or any other additional items and you can see mounted on the wall there is your manual jack. Again the magnetic catches at the top makes it easy to hold them up out of the way. You can see there on the wall and the best part about it is you just drop them and slam them and they latch. As we come further down to the front of the camper, you can see we recommend this is on a dually. So this has got the swing out jack brackets, which is optional. You just press the button at the bottom, push it up, and slide the jack out so that you've got easy access if you're loading it on your dually truck. Let's take a look into the Eagle Cap 1165. The first thing we're going to need to do is to run the three slide outs out. We'll open this door and show you what it looks like in the end position first. As we open the side entry on the 1165, the first thing you see is the rear slide in the closed position. As you can see, there's no access into this camper unless you operate the slide to move it out. This is where you get the maximum space as designed and engineered so that every square inch of that floor space can be utilized. When the slides are in the out position, you'll see the enormous room in this unit. As you step into the unit, you can see your wireless, wireless jack remote pouch is right there. This is all controlled with four controls for each jack, and the two center controls run all jacks at one time. Nice handy place to store that. Right above that is your fire extinguisher and then right above that is all of your controls. We'll go ahead and run the slide outs out now and I'll show you how they come out as they're being uh, pressed the electric slide outs. You always want to run the rear slide out first as it tucks in tight with the two side slide outs when closing or opening. So as we press the you press the rear slide out switch and you can see the slide comes out nice and smooth and quiet. This is the Schwintech slide mechanism. It's got the aluminum worm gear rack and pinion slide mechanism and three rollers underneath supporting the box and the slide as it goes into the out position. These slide outs you want to hold it until it completely shuts itself off, that's how it readjusts and recenters itself each time. 
I'm going to take a quick step in here with just the rear slide out out so you can see what it's like with just the rear slide out out. You can see here with both side slides still closed. You can see how what an engineering marvel this is. The slides are all within an inch or two of each other and you have to run all slides out at least the driver's side dinette and the rear slide to access the bathroom. You can run two slides at the same time after you run the rear out. Again here you can see the smooth operation. You'll notice at the top the awning slide topper is standard on all Eagle Cat products. So every slide will have an awning slide topper which helps stop your debris, pine needles, snow, ice, build up on top of your slide damaging your seals. You can see here a good view of the outside with the driver's side slide dinette and the rear slide in the out position. Then as we transition over here to the passenger side you'll notice again the rear slide out, out the door and the galley slide showing a nice triple slide truck camper that gives you the most room of any truck camper in the industry. Now let's step back into the Eagle Cap 1165 with all three slide outs in the out position. You can see how roomy this unit is. This has the optional rear theater seating recliners at the rear of the unit which is a very popular feature actually gives you residential style recliners to recline like at home. Move to the right you notice the galley section, the dinette in the distance there. One of the new features I want to show you for 2020 is down underneath the Peninsula Galley Kitchen is the new LED light switch with dimmer controls. Your generator control center, start button, stop button, and your tank monitor system with your switches for entry lights, security lights, etc. The new main LED track lighting is turned on with this switch right here. Let's flip that on and you can see the new LED lighting and the dimmable control. You can dim it now. So you can dim it down real low or have it as bright as you like. It really lightens up the interior of this new camper. We also have the LED round individually controlled lights like you see here for reading lights in the, in the uh, rear slide theater seating area. Also in the dinette for additional lighting in the dinette area. There's the LED light and the new Furion cooktop range, which really lightens up the new Dometic cast iron grate cooktop with the large oven. You will also notice a large drawer below the oven, which gives you deep storage for pots and pans, etc. And all Eagle Cat products are built with the soft self-closing drawer guides. As we step up from the galley area, there is a double door storage area for canned goods, pantry items. So the inside of this cabinet door is where the 1165 factory sticker is that shows the base weight that's the same as the sticker on the outside and then down below actual weight with factory installed options this unit is 5,430 pounds with all options and this one is pretty well loaded up with about everything. Down below is a second storage area as we come around the galley area you can see here the 32 inch optional living room TV down below it, this is equipped with the optional solar, and that's where your solar control panel would be. As we look down at the Peninsula Galley countertop, you can see quite a bit of 
counter space on this unit. You'll notice the deep double bowl undermount stainless steel sinks, high end residential style, and your high rise faucet with pull out controls. Below the sink is a double door additional storage area, giving you some very large storage down underneath the galley area. Pots and pans, small garbage can, there's two levels. Next to that area is a bank of four drawers for additional storage. You can really see there's a lot of storage in this model. Again, all of these drawers are soft, ball bearing, self closing guides. They are deep, full wooden drawers. Again, like we talked about with the ball bearing metal guides and soft, self closing with magnetic catches to hold them in place. This particular model is ordered with the wireless backup camera, the um, color monitor box is stored in one of these drawers during shipment. But you can see the size of all these drawers. And here's that deep drawer at the bottom for even more additional storage on the EcoCap 1160. As you can see here in the rear slide, this has the optional theater seating recliners with the swing away tables for laptop or eating at. This is standard with a sofa and storage below and the sofa will make into an additional bed. This optional recliners has the lever you can see right here on the side. Just pull that up and your recliners extend out and then you can just scoot in them and recline in them. As you can see here, the table has magnetic catches for travel and it can move out and be adjustable any place you want it to be with your theater seating recliners. As we move from the rear to the dinette area, you'll notice the dinette area, the large window, the additional 12 volt LED light, you notice the new LED strip lighting that's new for 2020. This has the Dream Dinette table with no table leg underneath and with the flip of that lever underneath it simply presses down on a gas prop to make into a bed. As you can see here you just press that table down, it's gas propped, nothing to pull loose or take out or table legs to move and the two back cushions pull out and fill into the center for your additional sleeping area. New for 2020 is the automotive style padded contour stitched faux leather seating. This is the toffee latte color. Up in the forward driver's side of the dinette is a 110 outlet and a 12 volt and a 2 USB power outlet for charging all of your electronics and 110 items you need access to. As we move forward to the front of the unit I didn't mention earlier but this is a 102 inch wide body truck camper. The only 102 inch wide truck camper in the industry is what gives you all this additional space and room. It's the widest you can have in an RV on the road. As we move forward you can see the bath in front of the galley Got the bath door right here, easy open access to the bathroom. As we come into the left is your stainless steel galley sink with matching nickel plated faucet. Your medicine cabinet, mirrored medicine cabinet. A pull out pantry storage for the bathroom. This is a large one-piece fiberglass shower stall with a nickel-plated faucet, an adjustable shower rod holder with nickel-plated faucet. This comes with its antimicrobial shower curtain and has the large skylight above for 8 inches of additional head clearance so taller people will enjoy the shower and also with the expandable shower rod 
to give you more room in the shower. As you can see here, when you pull that rod out, it gives you about an extra 8 inches or 10 inches of additional elbow room. And the shower itself is also an adjustable hanging rack that you can pull down to hang wet clothes on or additional clothes for travel and the hanging hooks. As you come to the back wall, you see a towel bar hanger here for your towels. And then there's an access panel for your electrical behind the TV area, your control center. You'll notice the porcelain style, narrow base, taller foot flush toilet. Gives you a taller, easier to sit at. Plenty of leg room in the front and foot flush for easy flushing and cleaning. There is a door access here for additional storage. In the bath area. And then there's access under the sink to your faucet, water lines, and your ducted heat going into the basement. As we come out of the bathroom and move towards the queen bedroom suite, immediately to your left as you enter the queen bedroom suite is a double door wardrobe and two large drawers down below. Double door wardrobe, as you can see, is very large, spacious, and full across hanging rod. As we look below, the large drawers are good for storage of big items, sweaters, bulk storage, jeans, sweaters, blankets. Again, soft self-closing on all of our guides and two large drawers to utilize in this area. One of the things I didn't mention, but this is all new interior for 2020. This is the new interior wood tone. It's a darker grayish brown. As we go into the Master Queen Suite, you see your digital thermostat for your air conditioning and heating. It controls both. As we move into the bedroom area, you can see the large queen size bedroom, double door wardrobe for additional, more additional hanging. You notice the shelf at the top for additional storage items or a good place to put a satellite receiver if you have one installed by the dealer. You notice the nightstand on the passenger side with a drawer. Above the bed as we come across you see a large shelf above. You got two reading lights in there and to the driver's side is another cabinet storage with two drawers below on that. Again for 2020 the new LED strip lighting with the dimmer control for the bedroom is right here. That switch turns on the channeled strip lighting in the bedroom and the dimmer control you can just slide up or down for brighter or dimmer as needed. In the bedroom area you'll notice the two windows on each side of the bedroom. It shows the cross ventilation and the standard Hecky skylight. It has a closeout shade for blocking sun and a screen so you can open that. Access to the roof and for additional ventilation into the bedroom area. Come back out to see the face of the galley peninsula. That's where your AM FM CD DVD stereo is at. And at the bottom of that section is your fuses and breakers electrical center and behind that is all part of that is your converter. Up front is your carbon monoxide detector and an additional 110 outlet across from the dinette area and in your galley peninsula. I want to thank you for taking a look at the Eagle Cap 2020 1165 as you can see here from the front bedroom setting on the bedroom area. The view of this camper is just gorgeous. There's a beautiful view, open windows, nice dinette seating area, the wonderful theater seating recliners with center storage and drink holders, and the swing away dinette table, laptop tables, the galley section, Gives you a nice peninsula galley with deep stainless steel sinks like you see in a fifth wheel. 
the galley section with the 8 cubic foot stainless steel double door refrigerator freezer, the stainless steel microwave, and all the storage in this unit. Here's a view of the 8 cubic foot refrigerator with the doors open. Gives you about a 50% larger freezer and about 25% larger refrigerator area with crisper drawers, lots of adjustable shelves in the door. As we walk back towards the back, as we head out to the door, this is the new door for 2020. It has the thin shade, adjustable shade in it, where you can keep that closed off at night, or you can open it to see out if you want to see out during the day. Nicer latch system here for the screen door, and a nicer closure for better closing when you have just the screen door open. Again, as we depart, we'll be closing up the slides and everything here. All your controls are right there. As you go out the door, easy access to get in and out of it. I want to thank you for watching our video on the new 2020 Eagle Cap 1165. Remember, it's four seasoned insulated and it comes with the proprietary Eagle Cap ALP three year structural warranty. This is a 100% aluminum framed truck camper. For more information on the Eagle Cap 1165 and all of our models, visit our website at amlrv.com.